Wow! 12 signs of high intellect you probably have. We all have little things about ourselves that may seem useless or even annoying to other people at times. But hold off before you start beating yourself up or trying to change these little behaviors. Because according to some experts, some of these characteristics may signify a higher than average intellect. <laughs> Are you a night owl? What about a procrastinator? Well, there are a lot more where those came from, so let's have a look at the list, shall we? Number 1. You're a lefty. In 2003, author Maria Konnikova, who's Harvard educated and has a PhD in psychology from Columbia University, as well as two New York Times best-selling books, so yeah, the lady is super smart described an experiment conducted among right- and left-handed people, which concluded that the lefties turned out to be more skillful when combining two objects, for example, making a birdhouse with just a can and a globe. They were also better at organizing word lists under different categories. Later on, scientists found a link between left-handedness and a note called divergent thinking, which is a kind of creativity that allows someone to generate new ideas. Ambidextrous people, those who can use both hands with equal skill, have the same ability. So, if you're right-handed, try using your left hand every now and then so that you can develop the areas of your brain that are otherwise kind of dormant. Try brushing your teeth left-handed, or try brushing your left-handed teeth. Works either way. Number 2. You often freak out over the littlest things. And everybody just calls me a neurotic. <laughs> Guess what, peeps? I'm just a genius! In a 2015 study on personality and individual differences, scientists asked 126 elementary students to fill in some questionnaires. They had to say how often they felt anxious, paid attention to gossip about them, and thought about upsetting situations. They then followed those surveys up with a written IQ test. As it turns out, the kids who worried the most scored higher on the intelligence tests. The researchers suppose that this is connected to the fact that people who tend to worry a lot take the quality of their work more seriously. How about number 3? You have a good sense of humor. Another interesting study was conducted at the University of New Mexico in 2010. Researchers tested 400 students on their reasoning abilities and verbal intellect. After the tests, the students were asked to make captions for some cartoon pictures, which were then evaluated by an independent jury. The researchers found that 86% of those who got more points on the tests created funnier captions. This really got the scientists intrigued, so in their next study, they involved comedians who got higher than average results on the intellect tests. So, what does this all mean? Humor influences intellect by exercising the brain and keeping it in tip-top shape. Next time your friends tell you to quit clowning around, just tell them you're exercising your intellect. <laughs> Number 4. You're a little on the nosy side. So, you like to stick your nose in other people's business, huh? You can't help yourself, it's just so interesting. Well, you'll be happy to know that Dr. Tomas Chamorro Premusic, professor of psychology at the University College London, is sure that curiosity and an inquisitive mind make people more intelligent. And he's not the only expert who's convinced of this. A massive, decade-spanning research project conducted in the UK and wrapped up in 2013 came to the same conclusion. Scientists have been observing 6,000 people born in the last 50 years, and they found that preteen children who got the most points on IQ tests grew up to be more curious and open minded adults. Number 5. You're a night owl. Are you at your most productive when everyone else is sleeping? Well, that might indicate that your intellect is higher than average. Or you just keep telling yourself one more episode or one more YouTube video. And then, hey, what do you know? The sun just came up. Well, we'll go with the first scenario and say you're more productive at night, wink wink. 
Jokes aside, scientists say that this preference for late hours could be due to the fact that brain activity, therefore intellect, is so high that it challenges your body's circadian rhythm. A 2009 study published in Personality and Individual Differences magazine, which also features some great recipes for dinner for one, considered the connection between intellect and sleeping patterns among thousands of young people. The results were quite shocking. It turns out that smarter individuals prefer to wake up later both on weekdays and on the weekend. Another similar study observed 400 American Air Force recruits and came to the same conclusion. So, if you find it unbelievably hard to pull yourself out of bed in the early hours of the morning, hey, then just forget about it. Let your big brain sleep in. And if you absolutely have to get up, at least you'll be comforted knowing that you must have one impressive intellect. Or you really gotta go! Number 6. You're extremely sensitive or easily distracted. Uh, what? If you often get distracted to check your social media, have a coffee break, or even lose track of a conversation, you might be more intelligent than others. At least if you're ready to believe the scientists who state this, and of course we all do. They say that the harder it is for a person to stay focused, the cleverer they are. How so? Again, it's that intense brain activity thing. It's just too hard to control. So go ahead, check your Facebook feed again, or maybe head over to our channel and see what other cool videos Brightside has. Yes, another shameless plug. Number 7. You walk a lot. In 2016, American scientists from the George Washington University School of Business published the results of some demographical research in which they found that people who live in cities built with a focus on walking have a higher intelligence indicator than those living in cities with lots of cars and other types of transport. What's more, the researchers got the same results from observing certain pedestrian areas in big cities. Does this describe you? If so, good for your physical health and that big brain of yours. Number 8. You realize how much intelligence you still lack. Justin Kruger and David Dunning from Cornell University undertook a study that later became a keystone in social psychology. They concluded that the less bright a person is, the more they overestimate their cognitive abilities. The same goes the other way around. Intelligent people aren't afraid to say, I don't know. And if they don't know, they can find this thing out later. That's why if dozens of questions appear in your mind with alarming regularity and you aren't too scared to ask them, you're probably smarter than others. Number 9. You're a master of self-control. No, I'm not. Intelligent people are able to overcome their impulses and suppress their emotions. They also typically think about the consequences before they do something. Hey, I can jump across to that other building. Yeah, no problem. Hey, score one for Darwin, huh? In 2008, psychologists did some research that later became really famous as well. It was called Individual Differences in Delay Discounting, and in the study, the participants were asked to choose between two rewards – a little bit of money now or more money but only after a year. The results showed that those who showed self-control and chose to get the bigger sum but later got more points on various intelligence tests. Number 10. You often procrastinate. Why don't we come back to this one later? No. Mm, okay. How many times have you uttered the words, I'll start working out tomorrow? Mm, okay, on Monday. Eh, maybe after the new year? Don't worry, it just means that you're smart. Scientists agree that intelligent people tend to postpone their tasks for later. Psychologist Adam Grant says that procrastination is the key to innovation. Steve Jobs managed to use his procrastination strategically, letting his brain rest and switching to completely different tasks before finishing the ones he had started. So don't worry about your procrastination. It's just that overdrive brain of yours needing to rest or be preoccupied with something else. Let it do its thing. Number 11. 
you're constantly munching on something. Ever get the munchies? No? Only after dancing with Mary Jane? Well, it's a known fact that the motion of chewing improves brain activity and concentration, even if only for 20 minutes, but still. However, it goes beyond that. Scientists have recently discovered that a desire to constantly chew something is typical for many intelligent people. Researchers believe that when you nibble some food, your brain is open for self-analysis and reflection. If that's the case, then my dog is a pure genius and my furniture is proof. Number 12. You fall asleep from time to time during the day. Speaking of geniuses, Leonardo da Vinci practiced what is known as polyphasic sleep. It means that he slept 20 to 30 minutes every 4 hours. And why did he do that? Nosy neighbors? Too much coffee? No, it was because of his brain. A clever person's brain works more intensively, so it gets tired faster. However, it needs less time to recharge. To get rid of tiredness and look at a problem from a different angle, you need to restart your brain. So if you feel sleepy in the afternoon, go ahead, take a nap, even if it's just 20 minutes. So, did any of the items on the list describe you to a T? <laughs> Fit me. <laughs> no. Hey, let us know in the comments! Share this video with your friends and give us a like if we help you shed some light on your intellect. If you want to stay in the know, click subscribe to join us on the Bright Side.